Well, speaking of tough losses, Salve Regina in the Division Three National Championship game last night in double overtime. They fell to St. Norbert 3-2. to two. The team returned to campus today, and J.P. Smallins was there to greet them and has more. <laughs> They received a warm welcome after completing the best season in school history. Salve's five and a half hour trip from Lake Placid, allowing plenty of time to reflect. It was pretty incredible, honestly, and, and everybody has um, good things to say about it. Even though we lost, it's um, a good thing for the program, it's a good thing for the town, it's a good thing for the school and, and the boys too. We went out swinging um, and to take it you know, double overtime and lose like that, it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an accomplishment, it's a huge accomplishment uh, for what these guys have done this year, um, really buying into each other, into that family atmosphere, um, what we've kind of preached from day one. The Seahawks will lose six seniors from this year's team, but 24 players are set to return next winter, including eight of their top 10 scorers and goalie Blake Watala. With the bar now set so high, another title run will be the goal. I see a bright future for, for the, this group. Uh, we have a young team in here, um, and, and just getting to the tournament in their freshman year, sophomore year, um, you know, now they have some experience under their belt um, at, the, at the biggest stage. So I think uh, guys are going to be hungry to get back there and, and get the job done next time. In Newport, I'm J.P. Smallins, Eyewitness Sports.